custom numeric literals. This is where the fun begins. Oh yeah. If the suffix is not predefined, then the suffix is assumed to be a call to a procedure, template, macro, or other callable identifier that is passed the string containing the literal. This callable identifier needs to be declared with a special apostrophe prefix. So, so we can basically have a type u4, which is a distinct uint8, a 4-bit unsigned integer, aka nibble. <laughs> okay, so we can define a proc that starts with an apostrophe u4 that takes a string and returns the u4, which it returns that specific type. So the leading apostrophe is required. And therefore, you know, we could make that result is parse this integer and uh, I guess zero some stuff and convert it to u4. And therefore, we can just define a variable by x is 5 and that new proc of ours to convert this string 5 into actual value. The good thing is this, all this string stuff is happening during compilation time, not during runtime. Yeah, because that's how we define, you know, you, you can define other value that way. So yeah, that, that's, that's nuts. But that means we could probably define our own weird one, right? Is that possible? We don't need to, to have anything specific, right? So we can just do proc apostrophe hot dog. That will be, will take as a string and return a hot dog. So we can say that type a hot dog is an object that basically has length, right? And now we integer. So we could take, yeah, we could basically take that, you know, length is parse int. Do we need anything for parse int? I guess string utilities. So okay. Oh, lowercase. So okay, so that will be an integer return hot dog with a length. Therefore, we could say let, and we could do, I don't know, 12 apostrophe hot dog, right? And this is considered a number literal. Go figure. If you really want to, you can do that. Echo hot dog length. And does it run? It does. 12. So, I, I mean, I could see it as, you know, let's say you want to have... This will be actually interesting because another interesting thing would be that, you know, again, unit conversions. This is like one example that I kind of like. Let's say that we have types and let's say inch, okay? An inch will be a float, okay? It needs to be a float. And then we have feet, which is float, and then we have meter and centimeter. All of those will be floats. Just various lengths, okay? But let's make them all distinct, okay? Therefore, you won't be able to do operations that you would do normally on float and all that stuff. So you can't mix inches with feet and what all that stuff. So then we could define a proc in that takes a string and returns inches, okay? It just parses it, parses the float and returns, okay? Dot inch. Therefore, we could basically say that, you know, bar screen diagonal is 100.0, I presume. Okay, there we go. Well, we just have an inch. So we could basically the same thing, proc feet, okay? And then we have meter and centimeter, okay? So we can just say var, let's say whatever height is. 180 centimeters. And it kind of looks like a normal value. We just have that extra tick in there. And then you can define, of course, various things for com for converting. This is kind of fun. I can see it being used and having some kind of purpose. If you're writing some kind of, you know, if you have a code base that specifically deals with, you know, various units and you need to make sure that things are compatible and whatnot, this is fun. This would save so much time instead of doing dot centimeter right because there's nothing stopping it from that and he just converted it so but awesome. hey there you go too bad you can define it for some other stuff this is only for numbers right can so i do awesome. this so save awesome. no only for numbers all right let's move on more formally a custom number literal one to three custom is transformed into r one to three so raw string dot custom okay that makes sense in the parsing step. 
there is no AST node kind that corresponds to this transformation. Okay, so it just literally replaces it with that and that's it. The transformation naturally handles the case that additional parameters are passed to the colleague. Really? So if, again, that's that type pr procedure with more information. Okay, is that the thing and whatever more data would be used for. Oh, wow. This is getting weirder. Custom numeric literals are converted by the grammar rule named custom numeric literal. A custom numeric literal is a single token. 